Hey everyone, so today I want to do another video. I know I've got a couple out there today, but while I had a chance on a Saturday, I thought let me just get a couple videos out there um, because I don't really have much time during the week to film, so I thought I would do another one for you guys. This one is my current lip loves. And what I mean by that is my current lip loves are just different products that I use on my lips. And um, right now I've got them separated into a couple different categories. I have like chapstick type lip balms and then I've got like tinted lip balms and then I've got like lip balm slash butters kind of thing. Um, I don't tend to wear a lot of lipsticks. I, I'm mostly a gloss wearer so I tend to like more balmy type products. So let's get started. Um, the first thing is a current love is a chapstick. Um, this is the EOS uh, Strawberry Sorbet. You guys have seen this a lot. This is what mine looks like currently. Um, they're usually, this is brand new. I'll show you one brand new. They have, they're like a ball of, of lip gloss, but this is mine now. So you can see I use a lot of it. For some reason mine just tends to go flat. I don't know why, but this is what they look like. Um, again, this is in Strawberry Sorbet. You can get these. Um, I get mine at Ulta, um, and I had gotten three of them for about $5 and change, so these are awesome. These are great, and I'm not 100% sure if they have SPF in them, but I'm, I think they do, um, but they're great. They're very moisturizing. They don't have any color to them, and they have a nice slight hint of um, like a strawberry smell, so those are great. The next thing came in a set that I got at Victoria's Secret that was a gift for me um, from my husband for Easter. This is the Pink Beach Lip Balm by Victoria's Secret. And it looks like this. It's just a chapstick, but it smells like vanilla mint. Yeah, it's a, it smells like a vanilla mint. Um, it doesn't have a flavor or anything on it. It's, it's clear, so there's no color or anything like that. But it's really moisturizing. It's, it goes on super smooth. It's super moisturizing. It doesn't leave any kind of white cast or anything on your lips, so I'm really loving that. I don't think Victoria's Secret sells this separately. Like I said, it came in a set with three of the mini um, beach splashes, so I don't know if it if you can get that separately. The next thing I'm absolutely loving, and it is a set of two, and I'll actually get it out of my makeup bag because I do have one in, in my makeup bag. It's actually a set of two. Um, these are the Fresh Sugar... Kisses, and one is in the regular lip treatment with SPF, and this one is the Sugar Rose Tinted with SPF 15, these two. Now, you get them in a gift set like this for your birthday at Sephora. Looks like this. Really super cute little set. Um, now, I do have two sets, and I'll explain why. I got this set for my birthday back in November um, when they first came out. I, well, actually, I think they came out in January, but... I had a girlfriend that worked at Sephora, and when I went to take in my gift, um, like the little certificate you get, normally you get like the, um, I think it was like the Philosophy Happy Birthday Scrub or whatever. So I decided not to cash in my little Happy Birthday gift, gift thing because I, I didn't want any more bath gel. I don't really care for the bath gel. So when I went in there, um, a friend of mine actually works at Sephora and said, you know, bring in the certificate um, because now they have those, and, and she would trade it out. So she gave me this set. For my birthday in November but I got it in January and my husband's birthday was yesterday which was Friday and he got a certificate in the mail because he got a beauty rewards card because he buys me a bunch of gifts from Sephora and so he got one for these and so he went and picked these up and gave them to me because he knows how much I love these and they're free and the thing of it is these full size are $25 or $30 I forget what they are but it's something insanely ridiculous so my husband was so sweet and he got me this set for free. So I have two sets of these, but I have one open to show you. And the first one is the regular um, Sugar Fresh lip, lip Balm. And it looks like this. It's just clear. has no color to it. And it smells like lemon cake. I've used this in a lot of my favorite videos because I love it. It's super moisturizing. It's amazing. It feels great on your lips. And this, the regular has SPF 15. And... The Sugar Rose is also SPF 15, and this is actually a tinted, so it looks like this, and I'll put it on my skin so you guys can see, that looks like that. It's just got a very light hint of shimmer, and I just like really smushed this one really bad. It must have been like in a warm place, 
and I, I'm probably gonna have to put it like in the fridge or something like that because it's a little soft but anyway that's what it looks like it's not that crazy on your lips because um, I'm a very light skin tone person and my lips don't do well with that kind of color but it actually looks really pretty it's like a bitten the, like the Revlon bitten look like it's really cute so anyway so those are those I absolutely love those and I carry those all the time the next thing is the L'Oreal hip jelly balm in plush 120 and I've shown this in my favorites videos as well they don't make these anymore um, I got this one a long time ago it smells like vanilla marshmallow this is what it looks like it's super adorable super gorgeous pink color it's not very pigmented at all I'll show you what it looks like it looks like this I know it kind of looks probably scary on the camera but when you wipe it on your skin it's very as you can see it's very oh, let me get a good picture there you go it's very very um, it's more like a bomb it's not oh gosh the light okay there we go it's more of a balm. It's not very pigmented at all. Um, it's very glossy. It's not sticky. Like a lot of people ask if it's sticky. It's not very sticky. I love it. It's just got very light hint scent of vanilla marshmallow. And again, um, this is by L'Oreal. They don't make this anymore. Um, they came out with the L'Oreal Color Reach Balms with SPF. And I have two of those in my favorites here, my lip loves. I have one in 118 Pink Satin and one in 218 Rose Elixir. This is pink satin. And that's what it looks like. And again, this one has no color payoff whatsoever. I mean, you can't even see it on my, my hand. There's no color payoff. But I love that about it because I'm not a big color wearer. So loving that one. And then this one is 218 Rose Elixir. This one reminds me so much of the L'Oreal Hip Jelly that I just showed you in plush because when you put it on your hand, there's a very slight hint of pink, a very slight hint, and you're probably not going to be able to see it because of the lighting, because I have outside lighting coming in, and it's making a glare. But it's a very light hint of pink shimmer, or I shouldn't say shimmer, pink glossiness, which looks just like this. This looks very, very similar on your skin. So I think maybe what they did was they took the hip jelly balms off the market, and they replaced them with the um, Color Riche balms, and so they're kind of very similar, only they're not in a pot. I find these are a little bit less glossier than these. Um, I wish they would bring these back out. They were super amazing. I know you can get them still on um, eBay and um, Amazon, but my concern is because this one is a couple years old and I've been using it like all, I use it all the time, so it really hasn't been sitting around, but I'm afraid that if I buy them off Amazon that they might be kind of yucky because they've been sitting in a package. So I don't, I don't know, I've never done that before, bought something that's discontinued that's a couple years old and hasn't been used. So I'm afraid I'm going to pay the couple dollars, I'm going to get it, and it's not going to be the same quality. Um, so those are those, the, the lip balms. And the last product is the Revlon Lip Butter. This is the only lip butter that I will use. I actually purchased four lip butters. And I hated all of them. Did not like any of them except this one. And this is number five, Sugar Frosting. And that is what it looks like. And I'll show you. There's no pigmentation on this one either. The other ones that I bought had a lot of pigmentation. And that's probably why I didn't like them. Because they were, like as you can see, it's just a very small hint of shimmer right there. As you can see, it's, it's not much at all. Um, there's no color payoff or anything, but I do like this one. It's very nourishing, very moisturizing. Um, these do not have SPF in them like the, um, the L'Oreal Color Riche Balms. They have SPF 15. The uh, Lip Butters by Revlon do not have any SPF in them, but I really did not like any of the other Lip Butters. I bought, like I said, four total. This is the only one sugar frosting that I like. I also bought Strawberry Shortcake, Pink Truffle something, and I forget what the other one was. And I really didn't like any of them. I thought they were hideous looking. Um, if you guys want me to, I can do, I have a couple other uh, L'Oreal Balm ones. These are just my two favorites. But I think I have three or four of these total. And then I have three or four of the lip balm, or the lip butters. So if you want me to do a review or a comparison, I can do that. Just leave it in the comments down below and I'll, I'll definitely do that for you guys. So those are all of my current lip loves. I have one more video coming up today for you guys. And that's mini makeup must-haves. And I will see you guys all next week. Bye.